Hey, what's going on, everybody? What is going on? You see the auction. It is high bid. The Horde online auction, live and online auctions on highbid.com. So you go to highbid.com. You don't have to register at first. If you want to register, then you can register. If you want to bid, then you register. See where it says registered to bid. And it tells you the bidding's open. This is an online only auction. It gives you the auction details. You get to register to bid. To bid. And you get to preview everything, but we're going to show you the preview right now. Because you guys don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this one. If you are a car guy or car gal, let me tell you what. Or if you're a John Deere tractor person, man, they got some old nice John Deere tractors in here. 41 John Deere, 58 John Deere, 39 John Deere, 48 John Deere, 49 Inter International Harvester. I think they wrote a song about that, didn't they? 55 Oliver Super. Man, that's rare. Okay, then you got this international forklift. Then you got this 59 Thunder Chicken people are bidding 20 bucks on. I had a 65. I'd rather have a 65. Um, a 50 Ford. Hello. 51 Chevy. Nice to meet you. A 28 Ford Sports Coupe. 23 International Truck. Dude, that that's worth getting right there i don't know about you guys but there are a couple of them that some people own around here and they're they're yard ornaments uh, one is actually sitting in front of a restaurant a 32 dodge pickup look how complete that truck is man my goodness now this auction is going on for two days and seven more hours and just to let you guys know today is sunday august 27th at 10 21 a.m you got a 41 cab over um truck this this is a ford cab over one of the most sought afters oh my goodness you if you buy that you're gonna get money you are going to get money for zero bids it's ridiculous now this is up in frewsburg new york i'm gonna try to give you guys an address and a phone number look at that 51 jeep willies i've already looked that thing over man it needs a needs some restoration but i i about tell you you can probably get in and drive that car it's not the best interior the the back seat is like roached but that that willies is definitely worth getting and my wife and i are really contemplating because <laughs> we're looking at the 66 ford that, that pickup we're looking at that but i'm not too sold on the old fords i mean you know what i'm saying but what we're look really looking at is this right here 49 buick and that has the straight eight in it. This that car looks like it's ready to go. It needs the taillights put in. It looks like somebody got that car ready for paint and never painted it. That's really what that car looks like. Now this 28 Overland Rat Rod, that's a rare car. That that is a fantastic buy. That is a fabulous buy. That looks to be like it has a Chevy 350 with a high-rise dual carb tunnel ram setup and it looks like it is legit street ready it looks like i don't know if these cars run or not i have no clue i haven't been up there but really what has my interest right here someone just bid on this i, I was just commenting how nobody bid on the roadrunner someone just bid on this Here's a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner that does need restored. It needs restored, but the good thing is this car comes with a 383 four-speed. Yeah, 69 Roadrunner, 383 big block four-speed. And it's all there. It's all there. 30 Ford Rat Rod. That thing right there looks like it'll scoot and boot, man. It'll, it'll get down the road. That, that dude had some fun with these cars, man. Okay, now if you, you like the old fall guy look, here's a Chevy Scottsdale. They say parts truck, but it's not that bad. It has a whole bunch of parts that go with the truck in the bed of the truck. I don't know why they call it a parts truck. Maybe there's no title for it or something. I don't know. 50s Buick 8. I wonder if that's a Super 8. That's nice, though. I mean, oh, my goodness. You're not going to find these cars out and about really anywhere. There's a 36 Ford, a 36 Oldsmobile, a 41 Plymouth. I mean, come on, man. They've already chopped and topped and Frenched them, and they did all a bunch of stuff to these cars, man. They took some, they took some time with these cars, man. 51 Dodge Wayfair, not a Windfair. 
It's not a wind fare, it's a way fare. So if you look at this one, 51 Dodge Wayfair parts car. So right there, you got a 50 and 51. You can make a good car out of them. Them, them Dodge and Plymouth Wayfarers, um, they were very simple to build. I, I've had a couple of them. Matter of fact, mine look like this one. Late 20s Dodge Coupe body. And you, you got parts galore, man. Parts galore. 47 Harley Davidson knucklehead frame. Those frames are worth a lot. I just don't know about the registrations on them. I can't remember if the registrations came with a motor or if they came with a frame. I can't remember about them. I, I really don't do too much with bikes anyways. I'll let Jesse James mess with all that stuff. Now, this is a Stover two horsepower hit and miss motor. And I was talking to my wife the other day about one. I came across one that was all restored. And um, unfortunately... I had so much going on, I couldn't even bid on it, but it, it sold for 10 bucks. And here, you got one that's selling for 80. So I know that those hit and miss motors, they, they sell for a lot of money. And I slept that one, I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing. It sold for 10 bucks, it br almost brand new. It was all restored, everything, gorgeous motor. But here's a Kimco MXU 150cc four-wheeler for no bids. And I'm sure you can get a couple hundred bucks out of that, even though it's a Chinese type of bike. People like Chinese stuff. Here's a picnic trunk for those old Fords and Dodges and, you know, the 20s. Here's some more trunks that go with these bodies. I mean, this, this, this dude has a lot of stuff. And whatever, whatever the price is on these sites, whatever the, it says that high bid, whatever it is, that's what it sells for. I have won so many of these auctions. This is a legit site. This dude has so much stuff here. It's a hoard, man. It's a hoard. If you need old car parts or whatever it is, man, you need a project, Frewsburg, New York. You guys got to get up there. Look at them GM radiators, man. Those are worth some money. Look at these Ford radiators. I'm looking at them Camaro rims, dude, because if they stay five bucks, I need some rims for my Pontiac. And I'll do with them. And them have nice tires on them, too. I was surprised. So I'm a bit on them. <laughs> I'm going to get me some Camaro, Camaro tires on my Pontiac. Maybe it'll go faster. So you got six Magnetos, man. Look at how, like, if you know about mags, dude, you know how hard these are to come by. You know how hard these are to come by. And there's half a dozen of them sitting right there for five bucks. Hubcaps. Hubcaps sell for way more than five bucks a piece, man. I'm telling you. The trunk and uh, the, the bowl carrier. And then you got the trunk and the brackets. And you got headlights. And you got inner fenders. And more fenders and inner fenders and more cabs and more cabs and radiator dodge brothers grill with the nope it does not have the radiator in it but that grill my goodness man a little bit of work on that right side but other than that man that thing is that thing is usable and you ain't gonna find them man commercial that means it came off of a, of a hauler of a semi those are the big ones Look at these grill covers, man. Chrome grill covers, man. Come on. Come on. You don't you guys ain't gonna find this stuff out and about in everyday world. The Overland International Grills, the covers, man, those are rare. Rims, dude. Rims, Chevy rims, Ford rims, more rims. Palette of carburetors, bro. Dude. I don't know why the distributor is there, but. Hey, it's a free one. It's a bonus. You get it for free. Look at them carbs, man. You get some of them single barrel carbureted, they go. They get some money. Harley Arts. Should be Harley Parts. Dual guys tank and a whole bunch of stuff there. Weed eaters. Galvanized items. Go-kart. Somebody bid on a go-kart. 
that was my whole thing. Someone bid on a go kart, nobody bid on the Roadrunner. That's what I was just we we're just getting into, my wife and I. Cushman golf cart body, yeah, you gotta love that, don't you? Aluminum brake, that's worth some money, man. There's just money sitting at this dude's place, man. There's just money. Look at the three old scooters. Look at them old kick scooters, man. They go for like 50, 60 bucks a piece. Now, here's the, here's the best thing about this. This is how you know how serious this dude is. Look at all these sheets of 20 gauge, 24 gauge galvanized steel. This is how you know this dude was all about redoing them cars. He was not playing around, man. So you got some West Coast chopper pedal bikes and some vintage bottles and crates. and These things are pretty cool. Double-sided crescent wrench. 101 Dalmatians Happy Meal Collection. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. But you got a whole bunch of stuff here, man. But I think that's, that's about it for the cars and all that. The guitars are going really cheap. The PV amp is going cheap. That guitar is going cheap. Got some fire helmets. Got some old clocks and stuff like that. We got welders. We got air compressors. We got cutting torches. Everything is here. Everything. So for anyone out there looking, look at that. Craftsman power tools, no bid. Porter cable, new in box, no bid. The Hubley vehicles, man. A pedal tractor with a trailer, dude, for five bucks. Come on, guys. We got to get over here. We got to start bidding on this so uh, we can get some stuff. Look at that Harley Davidson. 72 custom Harley Davidson 900. No bids. Looks like a running bike. A pedal plane. Okay, we got tools and tools and fishing lures. And Ertl Deluxe Ranch set, old vintage, more pedal tractors, fishing flies. Yeah, I'm gonna bid on that too. Space Invaders cocktail table. That's like $3,700. I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna get them rims. <laughs> if I had land, I'd be getting them cars too. I'm, I'm thinking about that car, that Buick. Pee Wee. Pee Wee Herman, look at that. Playhouse scooter, five bucks. They go for like 250. Let's see if we can get you guys a phone number real quick. No. But there it is, 325, Fru Run Road, Frewsburg, New York. Uh, BB guns in the box. Old toys, old old car siren, AMI jukebox that you, that you used to have in a diner's, bro. Come on, look at that. The bubblegum light with the siren and everything. Look at that vintage car. Dang, old microphones, a tandem bicycle, vintage tricycles. Motorcycle helmet, four of them. For five bucks? Oh, we gotta watch them. They in the box. You see the box is sitting right there. We gotta watch them. Stucco toys, pedal car, 30 hot rod lights, engine crane, more hubbly cars. Yeah, I was looking at these ones. I love another four wheeler. So you can buy two four wheelers there. Baja mini bike. Look at that. You can buy two four wheelers, Baja mini bike, and a go kart. And then a lot of these coin things. I like to model cars, dude. I do model cars all the time. I like painting them. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw the whole lot, everything, the whole sale, right here. All stuff you're not gonna find anywhere else. So um, let's see the auction details. Let's see if we got anybody, any any uh, phone numbers that I can give you guys. Here's all the information. There's no phone number. So usually I give phone number. So I apologize for not having a phone number because they didn't provide one this time. But there you go. Frewsburg, New York. Dates are today until the 29th. And then the pickup is on Wednesday, the 30th. So there we go, guys. Go on here. 
You go buy yourself a Roadrunner or a Buick or a Ford or a tractor or an Overland or whatever, man. But buy something, man, because this stuff you're not going to find out there anywhere else. And it's sitting right here. And this is why I tell people in my area, I find this stuff all day, every day, because this is what's around. This is only, oh my goodness, 30 minutes away from me, 40 minutes away. And there's a horde of all of this stuff. So my wife and I are actually trying to put together some stuff. Lou, go. I know that you're there. You don't have to pant because I don't know you're there. My puppy dog, see, that's her sign to let me know. I'm right here, give me some attention. She just pants. Um, but anyways, uh, for, yeah, we're, we're looking, we're trying to get everything together to get that, uh, that black Buick. So on page one, so that's what we're looking at. That's what we're trying to do right there, right there. We're looking at getting that one because it's, to me, it's the, mo the most complete one. It's ready for me to paint one hell of a paint job on it. And then I can put all the stuff right back on it. And it's a straight eight. I'll drive a straight eight, man. They got some good sound to them. They really do. And for a 49, you know, I'll take it. But anyways, yeah, I'll take it. Everything is right there. And for five, ten bucks, whatever it is, that's worth going over and hauling that back home. That's definitely worth it. Even if I got to buy all the glass for it, I really don't care. It's worth it. And I want to hook you guys up, too. That's why I made the video. So if you guys want more videos like this, drop a line. Let me know. I come across and I do all these. I do auctions every week. I come across all type of stuff. If I can make a dollar on it and it makes sense for me to go get it, I go and get it. And I take a trip and I get all the stuff and then I sell it. And then I make some money and do it again. So a lot of people do the um, flea markets and they do the yard sales and stuff like that. I don't like going out and wasting my money looking for stuff. I'd rather sit at home and just pull my phone out and look at the auctions that are right in front of me and then go from there. So highbid.com, you don't have to register for it. If you do register for it, it's free. And it gives you all the categories, today's events, auctions near me, and, and it gives you a whole bunch of stuff. If you guys have any questions about how to operate this thing, yeah, I've been on here for a minute. Um, I have several other auction places that I go to, and uh, you guys can, and I have some that you guys should stay away from, so if you guys do auctions, or if you're interested or whatever, drop a line, let me know, and I'll make some more videos and show you guys how to do it. I've only been doing this for about 15 years, so uh, till next time, guys, save up your coins, because there's stuff out there cheap. Take care.